This is Damian McNamara reporting for the American Academy of Family Physicians, Congress of Delegates in Orlando. And with me is Dr. Glenn Stream, who's the incoming president of the AAFP. One major thing you discussed was these distressed practice environments and what it means for family physicians. Can you talk about that some more? Uh, uh, certainly. It was a, a concern raised by our New Jersey Academy, and yet we believe it may be uh, present in other parts of the country, either whole states or, or smaller areas. Uh, and the concern is that there's areas where uh, family physicians are being offered very low payment, uh, some small percentage of their Medicare reimbursement that doesn't adequately cover their costs to, to run their business and serve the patients they take care of. And as a result, those, those areas see a, a net outflux of, uh, of family physicians. They're losing their, their primary care provider base, uh, and, and that over time is going to limit the care that those people have in those communities. There was some reference to insurance companies of private insurers somehow working uh, some of the etiology of this. Is that part of it? I, I suspect it varies from, from area to area, but the, the typical environment would be an area with, with only a couple of major health plans, you know, two or three that have, you know, the, the very greatest part of the market share. Uh, and as a result, they offer contracts that are at very low payment. And particularly for smaller practices, they don't have much negotiating leverage. And they're typically left with a take it or leave it contract with that low payment. Another issue that came up at this town hall was the SGR and the pending 29.5% cut if nothing is done between now and January of 2012. So what is your message as you come in as president for family physicians to do? Like what kind of action should they take between now and the end of the year? I would encourage them not to give up. I mean, it's very important that we remain engaged in this issue. It affects us directly. Uh, if this cut were to go into place, it would have catastrophic uh, ev uh, effects on our ability to run our practices, and we, we just have to not get the issue fatigue that, that we're concerned about. We have to make sure and, and be engaged, reach out to our members of Congress, relate to them the impact that it would have for the patients that we care for that are constituents in their districts, and that that's just not acceptable. Can you talk about your other priorities besides the SGR and the payment overall in the coming year? I would say I have two main focuses, one sort of internally facing and one externally facing. Uh, we as an academy, uh, you know, we're a large membership organization, and to be effective, we really need to be in contact with our with our members. And so I'm very committed to better uh, and, and continually improving communication with frontline members and with state and other chapters. And so we'll be uh, beginning to use social media that allows uh, members to, to be aware of, of what I'm doing during my year on their behalf. Uh, I'm giving testimony here. I'm at a state chapter meeting there. I'm doing an interview with, on this topic so that they know literally day to day what's being done on their behalf and can then, you know, respond and let me know, you know, what they think about that or provide supplemental information that helps me be more effective uh, in representing our academy. Um, the externally facing thing I would say that I'm really ex very excited about the coming year is that my year as president very much overlaps the, the upcoming national elections. And, you know, we've seen the last few years that health care issues have been really in the public consciousness and in the political debate, and we absolutely have to keep them there. We have to keep those issues that are important to family medicine and the patients we serve in the political debate. So as people decide who to support, um, that they have that information as one of their important decision points.